to review the modification to their application, um, which is a request for um, an 11, to hear the request of the Godfrey's regarding 11 Algonquin Road, tax map U12, lot 106 for a si left sideline variance of 15 feet from the required 25 feet for a 20 by 20 addition and a left side line variance of five feet from the required 15 feet for a 10 by 20 foot deck. Um, with that said, my understanding is that Peter Black we did not appear tonight because he was recusing himself again. I don't think we have any other recusal issues, right? Okay. Mr. Smith? Uh, point of, of clarification. I, I didn't do a new draft based on a new plan because that's what was advertised. As long as it's less of a variance, not more, we can go under what we advertised. But basically what they'll be asking for is the balance request of left side variance of two feet and required 25 feet for 20 by 20 addition. And the deck's fine because it's going to be it's only required 15 feet it's 22. So they're asking only for three foot variance. As opposed to the 15 foot variance from before. Very good. With that said, if uh, applicants would like, like to take the podium and introduce us, explain their modifications and what it is they're looking for. Thank you, God. Good evening, Mr. Chair, members of the board. Uh, Paul Godfrey, and with me this evening, my wife Mary Godfrey, 11 Algonquin Road, uh, here tonight to present a uh, revised uh, request for a variance for our property at 11 Algonquin Road, which is in Shore Acres. Uh, each of you should have received in a package uh, the following materials. Um, a cover letter, which is basically an ex explanation and request for the three-foot uh, variance uh, for the property in the addition. Uh, a revised neighborhood setback comparison table. Um, a revised um, property plan showing the addition and proposed deck. And a revised uh, application. Hopefully, all of those materials are are in your package. Um, to recap, uh, again, as we went through last time, we are looking to uh, build a 20 by 20 foot addition off of the northeast corner of our of our home. Uh, this is our home at 11 Algonquin Road. Here, uh, we're looking to build essentially the the addition on the back side of the property. Um, it would be a 20 by 20 foot addition. Uh, we're also proposing a 10 by 20 foot deck. Uh, based on our updated uh, uh, assessment, uh, we are coming to you this evening with a request to have a three foot variance. Uh, the basis for that three foot variance is, uh, it comes from the neighborhood setback comparison that, that we have done and, and provided for you this evening. Um, what we have done is we have looked at uh, the 15 closest properties in distance to our home, taking a look at the uh, existing side setback to those 15 properties, and, and going through, we have come up that eight out of the 15 uh, do, not ex uh, do not meet the current 25-foot variance, eight out of 15 uh, being a number that is a, a, a majority of. Uh, and the closest, uh, or the, uh, the, the dimension for majority that I call it, is uh, 22 feet. If you, if you do an average of the dimensions for those 15 properties, uh, it's, it, it's, it, it comes up to 22.4. Uh, you should have also, I think I failed to neglect to, uh, to let you know that you also should have received an 11 by 17 map showing the properties that are the 15, 15 closest to ours, uh, and those, they are numbered, and, the, and those numbers correspond to the numbers on, on the table. So, again, based on our understanding and additional assessment, uh, that's where our determination for three-foot variance has, uh, has, has come from. Um, originally, we submitted and wanted to make sure that, that, that we, uh, we also noted, uh, again, we've made sure that this process, this uh, 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 plan to build an addition, we have discussed with our neighbors, in the original package we provided you, we have letters and, and, and acknowledgement of support from our neighbors in, in, the, in, the, in, in the neighborhood, specifically all of those neighbors that physically touch our property have, have, have written and, and, and have indicated their support. Um, 
And that is the information that we're bringing for you this evening. So again, I, I think based on this information, we believe that our request is, is, is fair and reasonable uh, and would be happy to entertain any questions at this, at this point. Um, I just had a couple questions, Mr. Godfrey. As far as the drawing that you've given us, the new drawing, I take it what you've done is just move the addition over seven feet Actually, the right? Actually, 12, 12 feet to the right, yes. Well, okay, so it was 10 before? That is correct. Okay. And the, in this aerial, and I take it you took your measurements from this aerial photograph? Uh, some came from the aerial photograph, Mr. Chair. Some came from actual property information that we uh, pulled from town files. The, the summary table actually indicates where we got it from. The, the bold uh, came from Cape Elizabeth property data files. Italics were distances we measured from the aerial plan. So it, it was a mixture of both where we had information from the Cape property files. Thank you. Anyone else have questions for the applicant? No. Dr. Chapman, anything? No, I don't have any questions. I, I do have a comment. I, uh, I reviewed your application this time and, and compared to the application before, and I want to uh, thank you for coming back before the board. I think it's, it's you did the appropriate thing. You, uh, the ordinance is quite clear in situations like this uh, on the standards that we have to base variances on. And, and, it, and our decisions are typically very objective. If, if, if the applicant meets the requirements, uh, then, then it's, the vote is fairly obvious and the outcome is fairly obvious. And I, it, as long as I've been on the board, when applicants come before the board, I view them as coming before the board with a variance that's acceptable, and we try to make sure it fits all the ordinance, uh, I, as opposed to you coming before the board and you, where you're really trying to make something that isn't there. I, I view it as, as, as acceptable unless we can find otherwise. Uh, last time it was quite clear that your application didn't meet the standards of the ordinance. And, and the whole intent was to maintain the neighborhood look and feel is, is the way I look at it. Uh, and you didn't meet, meet that and, and oftentimes applications are based on motivated desire instead of absolute necessity and you exhibited that by going home, regrouping, reconfiguring and coming back. And, and this may not have been your first choice but it was a, based on what I see, I don't have any problem with your revised application. I, I'm not saying how the board's going to vote, but I personally see that you regrouped and, and it was not necessarily your first choice, but hopefully it's an acceptable choice and something that will work for you and, and your wife. And, and I want to thank you for taking the time and the effort to, to do that because uh, that's important. And that's the whole intent of this board. And, and you exhibited you know, how it should be done. So in summary, I'm glad you came back and, and continued your application, modified application. A good learning process for us. Thank you. Very good. Since there's no further questions for you, um, we will, uh, and I see no one else in the audience, either for or against the application, to, and I take it your wife doesn't need to speak to this at all. <laughs> I'm the shy one. <laughs> okay. So with that said, unless you have something else you want to add, I'll close this portion of the um, hearing and we'll just um, now have just discussion among the panel. Thank you, Mr. To the Chair. extent anybody want to, wants to add to Dr. Chapman's comments. Okay. Thank you. Great. Do we have any discussion on this? I agree. Well done. Yeah. Um, anyone else? The, just for 
to follow up on um, Jay's comments a minute ago, it does appear that you've met the criteria at this point in time with the majority of the, um, the neighbors exhibiting setbacks that are um, more not in compliance than your proposed variance. So the, the, the most critical aspect of your applications appears to be in order. And, uh, and I, too, want to thank you for taking the time to go through the process of bringing it in compliance. And um, I know it's a lot of work, and we certainly appreciate you going, taking the extra step to do that. So with that said, um, why don't we go through the elements that we have to vote on for this particular application. The first finding that we must make is that the proposed variance is not a substantial de departure from the intent of the ordinance. All in favor? That passes unanimously. Second finding is a literal enforcement of the ordinance would cause a practical difficulty. All in favor? That passes unanimously. The need for the variance is due to the unique circumstances of the property and not to the general conditions of the neighborhood. All in favor? Unanimously passes. The granting of the variance will not produce an unde undesirable change in the character of the neighborhood and will not unreasonably detrimentally affect the use of the, or market value of the budding properties. All in favor of that? The practical difficulty is not the result of action taken by the applicant or a prior owner. All in favor? That also passes unanimously. No other feasible alternative to a variance is available to the petitioner. All in favor of that finding? That passes unanimously. The granting of a variance will not unreasonably adversely affect the natural environment. All in favor? Unanimous. The property is not located in whole or in part within the shoreline, shoreline areas as described in Title 38, Section 435. All in favor? That passes unanimously. With that said, could I have a motion to approve the requested variance? And if you could um, cite the tax map and lot number, that would be helpful. Make a motion to approve the uh, variance for Marion Paul Godfrey 11 Algonquin Road tax map U12 lot 106 for a left sideline variance three feet. of three feet proposed setback um, from the required 25 feet for a 20 by 20 addition and a left sideline variance. Do you still have that one? Mm -mm. Is that, that's no longer part of it. That's no longer part effect. of the left sideline variance, correct? So, so three feet from the required 25 feet for a 20 by 20 addition. I'll second that. All in favor? Yes, is unanimously. Congratulations. Do we have any new business, Mr. Smith? Hmm? Communications. Are we on that? Um, we're up to new business. If there is any new there business, any I take it there's none. No. Communications. Um, last month we were going to discuss what we we're going to do with the December meeting. Mm -hmm. Right. I haven't had any that I know of any interest in. Nobody's talking about going before the board in December, so the chances are we probably, you know, we won't have a okay have a meeting because of that. So my suggestion would be to leave the day alone. And, I'll try to discourage him as much as I can. Yeah, <laughs> that would be helpful. <laughs> okay. Very good. Any further um, business to come before the board? Communications, ma'am. I saw you just observing. Okay. Good. With that, it doesn't appear to be any new business for us. Uh, could I have a motion to adjourn? So move. Second. 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 Unanimous. Important sweep. What should I do with it? It's an all time record. <laughs>